A recent competition called on high school students to make a film about the value of education, especially for those in countries where it's not taken for granted. The winners are from Goulburn High and their prize is a quite confronting trip of a lifetime to Uganda. Kate Evans reports. Goulburn, New South Wales. We're famous for being the home of... The Big Red. The New South Wales Police Academy. And bitterly cold winners. It's your typical, quiet Australian country town. We're Australia's oldest inland city. We're home to one of the inland Australia's oldest schools. And if you look inside, you'll find some of Australia's oldest teachers. But it's our school that interests us, because inside this old building are some of Australia's newest citizens. Welcome, Welcome to Goulburn High! <laughs> I'm Dennis Carroll, I'm an ESL English teacher at Goulburn High School and uh, I approached Will and Alicia to make a two minute video for One Gold to promote worldwide education. Will and Alicia have been school leaders for a number of years at Goulburn High, um, they've been going here for the last four or five years now. I knew that they had the energy and the drive to be able to keep up with the commitments on top of their study. Alicia Tomlinson, Street Bird Edge. They're both motivated students and they're, they're role models around the school and I knew that they'd carry the message of one goal and uh, the UN's aims very clearly. We made a two-minute film about education and why the government should support aid for de in developing countries. Our main focus was um, telling the story of one of our Liberian students at our school that is in the ESL class. Natu came to Australia from Liberia, West Africa, in 2009. Her family experienced things that no one should have to go through. War, fear, trauma and life in a refugee camp. Life in a refugee camp is never easy, but there was a hidden cost. Natu was not provided with a good education. We uh, looked at a lot of the other video entries and a lot of the videos um, stated facts and didn't really answer the question of why education was important to them. So we really tried to focus on that. When we hit the top ten, we were excited. We, like, we didn't think that we did that well. We didn't think that we'd get this far. As soon as we hit top three, we were, we were so ecstatic. It means a lot, uh, such, a, such a small town. It's really good to know that a small school like ours has done so well. Recently, our school and our town have become the home of refugees from places a little bit different from Goulburn. We get a all-expenses-paid trip to Uganda to do a lot of aid work, and we get a travel around to different villages, um, mainly around Lake Victoria. We get a look at some of the projects that ActionAid is uh, conducting whilst over there. We have to do video blogs, and we do Twitter and things like that to try and you know tell our experiences each night. I want to get an education so that I can contribute to society. I want to get an education so that I can make a difference to the lives of others. Together, we can make a difference. I think it's going to open their eyes to the wider world, um, to see poverty face-to-face -face and to see children out of education and in a country that's had a hard time in the last 20 years is going to be quite confronting for them. I can't fully prepare myself for it, but I'm expecting to see... Uh, a lot of poverty. I'm really nervous about it, but hopefully, you know, we go into the villages, we see a lot of different cultures. The culture experience is the one thing that I'm going for. You've got your tickets? Yes. yes. And your passports. Is your passport arrived? Right? My passport is on its way. Okay, so mine. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, we'll get it.